Hi there, and welcome to lesson number six in this series on using Google Sheets. Now, in today's lesson, we're going to focus on creating one single formula that is going to transform a column of data in our spreadsheet in exactly the way that we need it in order to process these records into our new system. Let's get started by just explaining what it is that we need to do. Here's the spreadsheet that we've been working on. And just while we are here, let me quickly show you how to turn off the filters, because we don't really need them for this lesson. Select all the data, go to data, and if you click on this turn off filter button, so here's the spreadsheet that we're working with, remember. And just before we go any further, I just want to show you how we can turn off the filters, because we don't really need them anymore. Select all the data, and then from the data menu, simply click the button Turn Off Filter. Now, I'm going to insert one column to the left of this one, and I'm going to head it Reference. And we need to transform all the data in this column in a particular way. And the first transformation that we're going to work on is transforming this code into a number that just has that. But unfortunately, we're not always sure how long this part of the number is. So we're not able to use the len and mid functions like we did last time. We're going to have to use something else. And the first thing that we need to do is first isolate if this is indeed an EID or whether this is a PDF or some other kind of resource. Now to check if this is an EID kind of reference, we need to do the following. We have to use a function called left. So we have to open up an if statement. And the logical expression we're going to use is left. As you can see, it's a substring from the beginning of a specified string. And this is how left works. You first need to indicate, well, what string you're looking at. Well, we're looking at that string. The second thing you need to do is indicate the number of characters that you're interested in. We're interested in the first character. And we're using left because we're interested in the first character from the left of that string. And so our if statement is, if the first character from the left of the string is equal to e, then what are we going to do? Well, what we want to do is take this value. If it's not equal to that value, if it's not, if, sorry, if, if it's not, the first character is not equal to e, then this is what we're going to do if it's false, and we're going to print out no ID. Let's see what that looks like. OK, that's given us what we expect. The first character is indeed an E. And as we autofill it, we see, ah, this first character is not an E, and so it's going to give us the false clause, no ID. But that's not exactly what we want. I don't want this whole thing back at me. Remember, I just want the number part of it. So, so far, we've been able to identify if that string starts with an E and do something with that information. But I just want the number part of that string back. Now, in order to do that, I need to use another function. And this function is called value. So, let's see how this works. So I don't want to just return the full value of what's in B44. I want the value of what's in B44. So <clears throat> I want the value of what is in B44. And let's see if this works. Oh dear, we've got an error. And the error is that the value parameter cannot be parsed into a number. Google Sheets doesn't know what to do with that and make it to make it a number because it's got a letter in it. So we need to do something else. We need to make sure that we can give Google Sheets just the number part of that string. And the way that we're going to do that is to use a similar function to left, this one called right, to give it just the, the uh, eight characters that are numbers within that string. Take a look. 
So we're not just interested in what's in B44. We're interested in the right most characters. So it's right, open brackets again, B44, and we want the right most eight characters. So in other words, we're going to count from the right-hand side of that string eight characters from the right to the left. Let's just make sure that we've got all our brackets correct here. Double check the statement. If the first character from the left is equal to E, this is what we want you to do. We want you to return the value of the characters that are the first eight characters from the right of that string. If that's false, then return no ID. So let's see how that's working. Ah, now we've got exactly what we want. Let's check if we autofill. Yes, this would come out as being false because the first character is not E, so no ID. These two would come out as being true and therefore return just the number part of the first eight characters. So in other words, it has converted that string there, those are the first eight characters from the right, into this number over here. So, so far we've created an expression that's going to just give us the number portion if the string in that cell starts with an E. But now we need to work on what to do with the other kinds of values that are in that cell, like PDF. Let's start with that one. Now, if the value of this cell is PDF, I actually want the function to return what's in this column, column I. Now we've done a nested if statement before, so let's do another one so that we can practice it. So this is the first if statement that we've got going here. We're going to start another if statement on the outside of this. Remember, it's best to do your nested in if statements from the inside out. So we're going to start with another if statement. So if, and now we need to check what the logical expression is. What is it that we're testing? So we're testing if B44 is equal to, in this case, PDF. If it is equal to PDF, please give me the value in I44. If it's not true, please give me this if statement. Now, we just need to check all of our brackets. We've got an open bracket there that we need to close. And we've got another open bracket there that we need to close. Let's see if that's working. Okay, we don't expect a different result from this because the first letter is E. We do expect a different result in this cell over here when we autofill. Let's check. Ah, it's working perfectly. We're getting the value here in this line from I46 because the value of this cell is indeed PDF. So we've dealt with two cases, when the string starts with the E and when the string is PDF. There's two more cases that we have to take care of. Let me show you how we're going to do that. First, let me just show you what those two cases are. So I'm going to quickly apply a filter to this data set so we can see here. So we've taken care of all the E's. So we've taken care of a lot of values. And we've taken care of PDF, but we haven't taken care of these two. But you can see that both of these, the first two characters are MM. And in fact, we're going to treat both of these cases in exactly the same way. So I reckon the best thing for us to do is to do another if statement and to check if the first two characters from the left are MM and then tell the expression what to do. So we can turn our filters off and go back to our expression. So we've got one if statement inside another if statement. We're going to create a third if statement right on the outside. In this case, we want to do another test. We want to test 
if the value in B44, but remember it's not just B44, we're interested in the first two characters from the left of B44. So, we need to use the left function. So, left B44, and we're interested in the first two characters from the left. So, if left B44 is equal to the expression MM, what do we do? We want to return the value in the very last column. Column L44. So, let's put that in. We want to return L44. And if that is not true, we wanted to execute the next if statement. And remember, if that if statement doesn't come up with PDF, it's going to execute the next if statement. And that's the most nested if statement that we have. But now we need to just check that we've got all of our brackets correct. So this if statement, we've got an open bracket there that we need to close. And this one over here, we've got an open bracket that we need to close. Let's check if this is right by pressing enter. So far, so good. Scroll that, uh, autofill that down. Well, looking good so far. But we haven't been able to test what happens when we get a multimedia record. So I'm going to autofill this all the way down to the bottom of our data set. You can see how much time we're saving by doing it like this. Can you imagine if we had to enter in or, or manually transform all of this data? It would take absolutely ages. As it is, just autofilling it is going to take a little bit of time. So while that's busy autofilling, I'm just going to let it run. This is the end of lesson six. And we did a really complicated formula in this lesson with three nested if statements. And we also used several functions. We used the left function, which will return the specific number of values from the left of an expression. We used the right function, which will return a certain number of values from the right of an expression. And we used value, which will convert any date, time, or number string into just a number value. And that's how we got rid of all those leading zeros in the EIDs. Let's check if this is finished autofilling. Let's quickly test that we're getting the right values from our expression. So I'm going to do some filtering quickly. Let's check. Let's see if we get the right values for blanks. Now remember blanks, in each case, the expression would have been uh, um, evaluated as being false, right down in this last nested if statement, no ID. So let's check. Yes, all of the blanks have come up with no ID. Fantastic. Let's check the multimedias. And I'm going to go back to some of the multimedias that we worked on in a previous lesson, which were information technology ones. where we had transformed data into the last short path. Right, we've got some values in short path. Let's see if we're getting those values out. Yes, we are, in fact. Look at that. We're getting that value because this is an, this string, the first two characters are MM. We're getting that out. We're getting that value from short path. So, looks like everything is working well. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed putting that really, really lengthy formula and function together. Good being with you. Bye-bye.